take a look at the guitar part for Cindy Lauper's Time After Time. We'll start here at the beginning and work our way through. <laughs> drives the song is um, what I want to show you first and I'm going to use the D, G and B string pretty much only. I'm going to grab kind of an F grip, 3rd fret D, 2nd fret A, 1st fret B, move that up 2 frets to a G position, B string 3, G string 4, D string 5, palm muting with my right hand and the rhythm I'm is, uh, using is this. Accents. We go down to an E minor. Again, using just the D, G, and B string, so I'm just fretting the second fret of D. second guitar part um, all through the song um, and on the introduction I want to show you that part it's right here open G string and then first fret B and open E so it's G and then the top two strings and then just D, G and B string one, two, three, four then moving on. And it's G, and then first fret of B and E open. Third fret D, open E, and then back to G and B string. And a top E string if you want it. That takes us to the verse. So, kind of putting those ideas all together. show you a few ways that you might approach that. One would be just a C chord, 3rd fret A, 2nd fret D, B string 1st fret, open G. Add your pinky to the 3rd fret of the D string. It's a C suspended. You can toggle back and forth there. Another way to do it would be to come to this grip, 3rd fret B, open G, 3rd fret D. B, 2nd fret D. Or the main difference being you get your low C note on the A string with this one. Suppose this one. So the way I play it, I like to play it, would be kind of a combination. 3rd fret A. 3rd fret D, 3rd fret B, open G, to a regular C. Then moving on, same thing we learned already. Then we're into the chorus. So the whole verse would be just whichever way you want to grab this.
is a G. Just getting the third fret of the low E and the high E and muting the A string. A minor seven. Second fret D, first fret B. Then I'm going to go to. I'm going to get this uh, D, this F grip, D third, G second, B first, and then I'm going to pull my middle finger out to get an open G string, and then back to the C. So that progression will be. G. So from the F to the open D and G and B string if you wanted it. Play it both ways. The way I play it. With the open G. Okay, there's a little lick that um, is in there I want to show you. Second guitar part. Open G. First fret B. Third fret E. This is the second guitar part. You could conceivably add it to your rhythm if it didn't bother you. Sometimes in the song, um, that moves around a little bit. You can get it here. Uh, you could also get a similar lick. Fifth fret G, second fret B, and then third fret uh, E. I do hear this. Maybe at the end of the second verse. Twelfth fret G, eleventh or thirteenth fret B. Tenth fret high E. And I think one time... I hit way up here. 15 G, I'm sorry, 17 G, 15 B and E. Mainly it's here. And you could uh, strum all three strings if you wanted to. One, two, three, or one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. play uh, the chorus. While we're on the chorus, um, there's a sort of a guitar solo through the chorus. Second, it plays half of a chorus. you can play it, but it's kind of a triplet, one, two, three, kind of, one, two, three, one, two, three, I just get the open G string, first fret B, and then I get again the third fret high E, you can just play it one, you know, just the one, two, three, or you can kind of mix it up. Guitar break uh, 
uh, all together on the chorus. There's another guitar kind of signature phrase that's before that. Uh, G, B, and E string on the 5th fret, put my 2nd finger in on the 6th fret of the B string, 8th fret of the high E, 1, 2, 3, B string, 7th fret of the E string. string on the third fret, fourth fret of G, using my pinky to get the fifth fret of the high E, again it's one, two, three, four, five, it's the same rhythm, then it's open G, B, string. G, B, fifth, third, first, open. Sorry. And then a F major seven, first fret B, second fret G, third fret D, and then use your pinky on the third fret of the, the B string. Yeah. then back to the first fret B. It just does that lick twice. And you're back to the verse. The ending is just sort of a tag from um, F to G. here on the, the original track is more of this. So this, so this F position, 3rd fret D, 2nd fret A, 1st fret B, pull out my 2nd finger, and back to the C. The hammer on is going to sound nice. That's the way I play the parts uh, to what I think is a really, really great song. Thanks for watching.